Yeah. Good morning, family. What are you guys doing today? Uh, playing horsies. Oh, you playing horsies? Yeah. What are you doing, sis? You playing horsies too? Yeah? You can talk. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> Come here, Fred. Here. Come on. Oh, he says I want my Fred. He missed his Fred. Oh, man, I'm telling you what, he loves his Fred. Loves his Fred, don't you, bubby? Yeah. yeah. I'll hold it. You want to hold it? Yeah. Yeah! -ho! He wants to hold it because Daddy got a complete new camera. I mean, I'm in love with my camera. Oh my goodness, it's my dream camera, actually. <laughs> I was going to make a video over, I got my dream camera, yada, yada. I'm like, let's just incorporate it in a video here. But I bought the A7 III. It's a Sony A7 III. Yes. Dream camera, yes. big microphone on top. Yeah, Bubba, I see it, man. But today we are doing some dog videos again. We're doing some updates on Fred. We're actually gonna try to take him to the water today. Not for like a training session, you know, just for a basic, let's take Fred to the water for the first time. Now, he's been in water, he's retrieved in water before, but he's never done it with me. I've never got to take him to the water and see how he does. His drive with just fetch and retrieve in the yard is awesome. But Will, the guy I got him from, he's like, dude, just wait till you get him to the pond. When you throw out a bumper or a ball, he hits the water so hard, you're gonna fall in love with him even more. And I'm like, right on. So that's what we're gonna do today. You guys have requested a ton. Um, Hudson, do you want him to, come here. Oh, you look pretty, sis. You are all dressed up. We're all going on a family cruise, aren't we? Are you excited? You excited, Bubba? No. Yeah, you are, you little stinker. But before we get started, before we're able to get out to the water, out to the pond here, we gotta go buy some more balls because Jackson chewed them all up, didn't ya, boy? Yeah, poor guy. He's getting old and he's like, dude, just let me do my thing. But Fred and Jax have been getting along really, really good. It's actually, it's actually really nice. Old Jax, I was worried how he was gonna do, but he's doing really good. Look at him. He's just a, he's like, yeah, man, I'm just the old man of the place. Leave me alone. Hey, Bodie, don't hit Sophie. Okay, whoa, 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 pal. Give me that. We can't be hitting dogs with the clay thrower, dude. Come on. Yeah, I, I literally have a little zoo here at the house most days. Look, this is what Bodie's doing now. Look, that's the water bowl. Or that's the dog bowl, man. What are you doing? I'm You're taking the water out of the dog bowl. Why are you doing that? Um, well. He's always emptying the dog's water. <laughs> like I said, it's a zoo 24 seven, but we are having a family vacation coming up here extremely soon. Probably when you guys are watching this or right when we're getting back is when this video will go up. We're all going to the Bahamas. It's gonna be awesome. We've been waiting to do something like this with the kids forever. They're finally the right age where Bodie's not too young and we can take him and do something. But back to what I was saying, before we can go get new balls or get Fred to the water, we gotta water the garden. Yeah, I haven't showed you guys yet, but I did plant me a garden out here. Oh yeah, I gotta water them tomatoes. Bubba, we can't be getting muddy already. It's too early in the day, dude. It's way too early in the day. Let's just water them right here, okay? <laughs> oh, you want a drink? Oh, num num. Bodie loves to come water the garden, don't you, Bubba? Yeah. So what we have out here is, this is my second time having a garden. I, my first was last season, and it, being my first season last year, I did amazing. I did way better than I thought. So this year, I switched it up. It's like, yeah, now I know what I need to plant and what we want to plant, because last year, it's like we had way too many cucumbers and not enough tomatoes. Or we had way too many hot peppers and not enough sweet peppers. Don't get me wrong, I love my hot peppers, and I actually, uh, planted some habanero and some jalapeno this year so those catching cooks are gonna be bomb with the fresh peppers the fresh maters out of the garden it's gonna be nice isn't it bub yeah. bubba actually his he, one of your favorite things is to come out here pick I'm cherry tomatoes and just eat them right off the bush ah, literally I if i let him do it he'll eat a whole bush <laughs> Oh, bleh. Fred, come on. Let's go. Let's go. 
Oh, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. Come on, let's load up. Let's go. Come on. Every time he get, every time he gets to get in the truck, he's like, "Oh yeah, we're doing something, boys." Fred here. Fred here. Come on, load up. I haven't got him to jump up on the tailgate yet. Come on. Come on, load up. Load up. Nope, he ain't gonna do it. There we go. You good to go, dude? Oh man, this old kennel. I'm telling you what, has seen better days. I've had that old kennel for I do not know how long. Yeah, I've had that darn kennel forever. That was Jax's first kennel like seven, eight years ago. So Fred's due for a new one. I mean, he deserves a better one. But man, I've looked at kennel prices and you know, you've, there's some really quality ones out there. There's some high end ones out there and woo. They, they're expensive, so I don't know if I can bring myself to buying one of them yet. We might just buy him a new, just regular kennel here real soon, but we do need to get him a new one. That door barely latches. Well, we actually ended up going to old Dunham's here, and I'm actually glad we ended up trying out Dunham's because they had some really cool stuff. Check this guy out here. It's like a little bird, like imitates a bird. It's got wings, the whole nine yards, and the neck portion has actually got like an elastic rubber band in it so you can launch it it says up to 75 feet i don't think i could throw that 75 feet so that's going to be interesting trying that bad boy out and i think that that type of retrieving toy you know will maybe help him get used to those wings flapping and used to having a bird in his mouth so might be the perfect thing but we may or may not use that in the water probably not i don't really feel like using that in the water and then him not going and getting it and i losing it so I did get him some balls that float and he can chew on and he won't tear up. Oof, well, we are here and uh, if, you've have, if you've been watching the videos, I've been mentioning and showing a lot of flood waters. It's crazy. I came to this pond and I'm like, you know what, this is close to my house, this will be easy. And yeah, it's completely flooded. The edge of the pond is supposed to be right beyond that tree right there. So we may or may not be able to get him out there far enough to where he actually has to swim, but we're at least gonna be able to throw the ball and see how he reacts to just hitting the water, if he wants to retrieve the ball or what's up. Now I didn't bring my muck boots, so, so yeah, just got the old Crocs on today. So hopefully Fred wants to bring me the ball back and I don't have to kick off the old Crocs and go get it. But this is the first time that we've taken Fred to the water. This is not really a training session on the water. This is just, hey, bring Fred out, let him have some fun, let him hit the water. See how he reacts, you get the point. But it's extremely windy. Uh, I tried to park the truck so we would be out of the wind, but if you hear a bunch of wind, I'm sorry. What are you doing in there, man? Come on, buddy. Come on, Frederick. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's ready, he's ready, let's go. Hi, Frederick, are you ready? Set? Good boy. Ah, this isn't the prettiest situation here. You know what I mean? Oh, he wants in there. Look, he's already getting it. He's like, oh yeah, Dad, I'm good to go. Now, today, like I said, we're not gonna be doing a lot of training. I'm not gonna be hard on him. I just wanna wear him out a little bit. I wanna get him in the water and see how he does. You ready? Go get it. Oh, look at him. First time I've ever seen him hit the water. Here! Oh, grab it. Oh, he got sidetracked by the piece of trash. Get it! Get it! Oh, he didn't get it. He got sidetracked by the piece of trash. Fred, ball! Get the ball! Get your ball! Oh, no. Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! Here! Here, good, here, good, here. Look at him, he don't know what to think. Fred, here, here. He's mud, stomping through some mud there. I don't know where he's headed. Fred, here. Oh, he's got a potty, look at him. He says, Dad, leave me alone, I got a potty, dude. What do you think, dude? Poor guy. Probably should have took some practice throws with him before we started recording everything. He probably would have been smart. And now, there's one issue. And I'm glad we're out here because today we're dealing with waves. It's really windy like I told you. There's a lot of waves going on out here. So that ball is literally just bouncing in the water. So this is actually good to get him out here, not for the retrieving aspect, but 
for him to get the practice, I'm sorry if it's windy. But yeah, this is not the day to be filming at all. Uh, but this is good training for Fred to get used to that, that ball bobbing in the water. He has to get used to placing the ball in his mouth, you know, grabbing it out of the water. He's struggling with that a little bit. He keeps hitting the ball and pushing it under the water, losing it. On the last deal here, I didn't, I didn't film him. He thought that it sank many times. So, I can tell you right now, this is going to do one thing for him, and this is going to get him used to putting the ball in his mouth off the water. That, that, that seems like that's a minor issue right now. And here, here, here. Set, set. Ready? Get it. And he hits the water hard. Good, here. Good, here. Come here. Set, set. Good boy. Well, that was definitely the best one yet, Fred. Good job. I don't have a leash today, and I'm holding the camera. It's hard to hold his leash and get him to stay, but again, today's just about getting the ball in his mouth, him hitting the water hard and having some fun. Good. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, well, I put the camera in the truck right here. Oh, dude, you got me all wet. Here, buddy. Ready? Get it. He's doing really good, though. I have to say so myself. Get it. He, but he's struggling with getting the ball in his mouth still. Fred, dead bird. There we go. Good boy. Good boy here. Good boy. That's a boy. Sit. Sit. Oh, dude. Sit. Good boy. He loves it. Good boy. But guys, I hope you understand that today it is what it is. Um, I'm going to have to have some help filming, especially on windy days because Fred, I have to hold him. I'm going to get a leash. You guys have given me a lot of good tips and I need to give him a leash so I can instill the heel better and get him to heal, you know, have something to maneuver him. So you guys have been giving me awesome tips i really appreciate it and the freddie king comments that you guys are leaving down below you guys are like bobby you guys have to read the freddie king dog training books so i really appreciate you guys just giving me your two cents all the time and your two cents is worth a million dollars i'm telling you without you guys and the help that you give me i'd be struggle busting it man but i can tell i'm glad that i'm not putting a lot of demand on fred today because the wind has turned into a really good training lesson for Fred today. When that ball is bobbing up and down, he's having trouble timing it and getting it in his mouth secured so he can bring it back. What do you think, dude? You ready to go home? He was like, no, Dad, throw the ball some more. What are you thinking? But I've been out here, I haven't turned the camera on for about five minutes, been throwing the ball and taking photos of him. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you really ought to, because I'm gonna be posting a ton of pictures of Fred retrieving the ball. I mean. stay, stay. Oh, what do you think, Fred? What do you think, man? You wet? You're muddy? Looks like you got some mud on your butt there, bud. Oh, but that was a fun, that was a fun little adventure. Sure was an adventure because the wind made it crazy. Holy smokes. I'm telling you what, the wind almost blew my camera uh, and knocked it over almost. And I was like, okay, that's it. That's it. We've, that's enough. Let's wrap her up. But yeah, like I said earlier, I got a new camera here and oh my goodness, I love it so much. I hope that you guys can see uh, some quality difference maybe, hopefully. But on another note, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys have just been requesting more Fred videos in general. You're like, dude, I don't care what you do. If it's training, let him hit the water, let him jump off some docks, let him ride in the pasture seat of your truck, which I need to get some seat covers so we can let old Fred ride in the pasture seat of the old truck. What are you doing, man? That your spot? That has literally became his spot. Just the old leather couch that my buddy Mike gave me. That's became his spot for sure. But again, thank you guys for uh, always being concerned about Fred. You guys have been helping me so much. Whether it's the food to feed him after Parvo, whether it's training tips. Y'all have been coming through with the training tips. So again, if you guys have any training tips, if you have any helpful advice in general, let your boy know down in the comments down there. Don't, don't be bashful. If you got something to tell me that's going to help me with Fred and the training, 
drop it down below, please, please. But again, guys, today it was not a training session. It was just let Fred hit the water. And let me tell you what, I loved it. I loved watching him. Uh, I actually turned it off of video mode and turned it on camera mode for a while. And actually, I shot some awesome pictures of him. They are going to look so saucy. Loving the new camera. Loving the new dog. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, ya oughta. We will see you on the next one, guys. Make sure you subscribe. We're coming at you with three and four videos a week. Oh, you a tired boy. Oh.